Hey there, everybody. Hope you're doing great. Um, great drive in. Uh, not too bad. Traffic. It's about 50 minutes or so. Um, was able to uh, do the podcast on uh, the Crazy Agent podcast on leadership, focusing on EQ or emotional intelligence, as it's been known, and focus on three areas that you can focus in on to be able to learn and develop. Number one was to be able to listen, um, improve listening skills. Um, two eyes, two ears, one mouth, using that ratio. So if you can have face-to-face conversations, you can re- pick up on people's body language, their facial reactions, their expressions. Um, then if you can't get them face-to-face, then you can Skype, you can Zoom into the t- t- technological world of advances and innovation. Uh, communication truly is key. Then after um, that, you have the ability then to communicate. So get on the phone. You can hear someone's tone of voice. It's hard to be able to read that in text or an email. So that could be powerful. And then finally is uh, make sure that you restate in your own words what's going on. So that's when you finally use your own mouth on how you see things um, based on what they're telling you. And then after, <clears throat> after that, you end up going in and jumping into... Um, Communicating your vision, um, being able to be uh, clear and concise, avoid all the industry jargon. Sometimes it gets so complex with what people want in their mission statements that people don't really know what they're really going for uh, from a business uh, perspective. And then finally is you're going to have crucial conversations. You're going to have to feed, give feedback to people that are, their performance is poor. You're going to have to lay them off. You're going to have to have uh, conflict resolutions. They're dealing with uh, irate employees, irate customers. And so what can you do to be able to help them shift? Um, so let's go at it. Terms out. Hey there, everybody. Started my computer. So as it's restarting and updating, I decided to get some sets in here. Um, looking at the lab, uh, we have a TV screen here in the office. I want to make sure that it's all set up, ready to go, went through the calendar, um, making sure that um, I have my calendar all up to date. Once uh, the team comes in, nine o'clock, we'll do our team meeting, and I'll add in more uh, meetings as I work with the team, training, development, go on meetings with them. So hope you're all doing well, and season the day. Hey there, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic Monday the moment that you watch this. I uh, was at church yesterday, and Sean came up to me and had mentioned um, that he appreciated my, my motivational or inspiring videos. And number one is, I'm glad that's what he got from it. Um, as I think about these ways of communicating, you know, emails, phone calls, face-to-face, text, DMs, PMs, <laughs> faxes, there's a multitude of ways that we can communicate right now to the public and with friends and acquaintances and family. And it really becomes crucial about what we decide to put out there. For me, I'd rather have that positivity. My, my why is to leave a legacy by positively impacting others. And I hope for you, you find the same kind of motivation. Not necessarily that you wanna do selfies, you wanna do videos like this, but you wanna be able to leave some kind of legacy to those that are important to you, whether that's in some kind of digital format or not. I think about the journal, and now we can vlog. Pretty powerful. Sherm's out. Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Uh, finally got home here. It's about uh, 7 o'clock, uh, 7.10. Um, had, had a good day. Was able to get in seven sets of bicep curls. Was able to um, have, we ended up canceling the team meeting because there's only two, uh, two uh, employees there. Uh, one was out sick and then a few of them just were showing up late. And so um, I don't find value in just having a meeting to have a meeting sake. And so just gave the time back to the the, the, the employees and we'll be able to you know, just catch up with people one-on-one and then I was able to do some coaching one-on-one did some role play talk through the why of why we do what we do why we ask certain questions what's the heart of what we're getting at and then was able to um, work through lunch just uh, 
had some more. It was really just that one-on-one coaching. Uh, then I had another one with an employee, had a conference call, and then um, at three to four, I was able to go to local um, Houston Community College and learn about their 10-year vision, um, which 10-year visions are okay. They have a tendency to get a little bit too um, futuristic because you just don't know, right? You're planning the unknown. Uh, a decade is a lot of growth, especially in the educational space right now where there's a lot of change going on. And so for me, there needs to be stronger partnerships between businesses and education to make sure that they're talking to each other, to make sure that education is really feeding in and making people ready to work, uh, work ready uh, on the on the employer side. And then from a from a from a recruiting perspective, we should be um, explaining better our story, showing our um, showcasing our uh, value in the marketplace, and then of course making sure that we're able to get out in front of. Um, the educate the educators to make sure that they are having the curriculum um, cur- curated and specialized for what we want in our community, and that way we're working hand in glove together. Um, and then I was able to uh, talk with the managing partner just about uh, kind of where things are. Um, a couple people just hitting the mark, not missing, not, not hitting the mark today. So that was a little bit frustrating. So now I um, have a little bit of a delay in where I wanted to be here at the end of January, uh, beginning part of February. So got to scramble and put more work in from a standpoint of getting people in my pipeline. Turns out. I'm about to spread my body. Wipe it up, run it up, count it up. Ice on my wrist, I'm 